a more serious note, the Gerber Foundation Neonatal Center at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital is one of the few NICUs in the country to now have a small baby unit designed specifically to meet the medically complex needs of babies born at or before just 27 weeks. They're called micro preemies, and it's one more way Helen DeVos Children's Hospital is demonstrating its commitment to highest quality of care for at-risk newborns. And Dr. Krista Haynes, a neonatal neonatologist, is actually here with us this morning. Did I say that right? Neonatal neonatologist. Neonatologist. Oh, yeah, yes. that's quite a complex title. And you yes. have a, a tremendous job that you do in helping these babies. But we were talking about the micro preemie. What exactly is considered a micro preemie? Yes, so by definition, premature babies are those born less than 37 weeks gestation. Uh, Micropremie is a term often given to uh, those babies born extremely premature. Um, here at Helen DeVos, we have a small baby unit dedicated to taking care of that population, uh, babies born less than 27 weeks gestation. These babies are often born extremely low birth weight, mm -hmm. meaning that they weigh less than 1,000 grams wow. at the time of birth, um, which translates to an approximately one to two pounds. So they're very tiny, wow. um, fragile, and medically complex. And what, what, how are their needs different from other premature births? Yes, so we know that um, these babies are born very early and essentially all parts of their body, every organ, um, is underdeveloped and premature mm -hmm. um, and most specifically um, we've been focused upon brain and um, their neural development. Mm -hmm. uh, so we know that babies in the womb um, are in a quiet, dark environment. So that's one of the things that we've tried to mimic in opening our small baby unit mm -hmm. is having the same type of soothing, calm, quiet, dark environment um, until babies are farther along and and more developed and able to handle a uh, different type of uh, stimuli. And we're getting a look at some of the pictures. So where exactly in the hospital is the small baby unit in order to make all this possible? Yes, so um, it's in uh, the west side of our uh, NICU and um, these babies are cohorted um, into the area. Right now we have approximately 10 babies in our uh, in our small baby unit mm -hmm. and um, others who um, are older um, they graduate um, from our small baby unit around uh, 32 to 34 weeks um, when they're ready to transition out. So we have other babies that have transitioned out um, and some who have um, went home since we opened our unit in March. Oh. How, how does this unit actually benefit the, the, the babies and, and the families? Because maybe in the past, this, it's not available everywhere. I mean, you guys actually have something very special. So how does this benefit them at, at so little? Yes, um, excellent question. So um, we've put a lot of work into this quality and Improvement project. So this is over a year mm -hmm. um, planning in the works, working with other um, centers around the country um, who are doing similar type of work in their own NICU. Um, we have specially trained nurses and respiratory therapists um, who are interested in taking care of the micropremies. So not only are they wonderful, fabulous um, caregivers, but they have a specific interest in this population. Um, and, and why is it so important, I guess, to focus on these tiny babies? Um, yes. You guys have saved a lot of lives, I, I, I want to say that, but um, mm -hmm. if you want to go ahead and answer that. Yes, so with advances in modern technology, we've been very fortunate that survival of our micropremie population has um, improved dramatically throughout the years. Um, but one of the things we haven't seen um, as a consequence is as much improvement in um, short and long-term types of um, outcomes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the things in our work um, mm -hmm. we're focused on um, seeing if we're able to affect that. Um, so that's one, some of the measures that we'll be looking at constantly as we reevaluate our, our population. So anything that we can do to make um, life better for these babies as they um, turn into school-age children and later on into adults um, is, is what we want to do with our work at Helen DeVos. I'm sure that you get very attached but there's probably nothing better than seeing that little one leave to go home with mom and dad, right? Yes, that is that is a magical moment. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're very blessed um, in the role that we serve as, as care providers, um, being involved not only in the birth of a baby, but mm -hmm. seeing them through um, a hospital course that can be not days or weeks, but typically months mm -hmm. uh, for these babies born so early. So um, sending them off can, is, is very rewarding. Well, keep up the great work. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks so much. Absolutely. And your time now is 9.09, but first I want to point out the Gerber Foundation neonatal Center, if you're wondering, is at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, located at 100 Michigan Street Northeast uh, in Grand Rapids. You can see uh, everything they do online at helendevoschildrens.org backslash neonatal.